In the first half of 2022, Toyota's electric vehicle sales decreased worldwide by 12%. Toyota and Jaguar Land Rover were the only two car companies in the world whose electric vehicle sales declined. Volkswagen wasn't much better at a 0% increase. Frankly, my friends, the two biggest car companies in the world, Toyota and Volkswagen, are in big, big trouble in the first half of this year electric car sales are up an incredible 75 percent versus the first half of last year but the thing is there's about to be an onslaught of electric vehicle production hitting over the next 12 months worldwide this is just the start my friends hang in there we're gonna get there Hello and welcome to the channel. It's great to have you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Thank you for tuning in. It's great to see all of you. I want to see all of you, well, as many as possible of you that can make it to fully charged in Sydney next year, and of course, to fully charged in London and San Diego. I'll be there. Come there. Meet me. Say good day. It'd be great to catch up with you. Electric vehicle sales were up 62% worldwide in the first half of 2020. Hang on a minute, you're saying? 62%? Why only 62%? I thought you said 75%. That's right. Clean Technica counts plug-in hybrids as electric vehicle sales. I don't. If we're just talking about fully electric vehicles, they're up 75%. If we include plug-in hybrids, they're only up 62%. As you can see, Plug-in hybrids are losing popularity in comparison to fully electric cars. Now, one of the key reasons why that slide will continue is things like what have happened in Ireland, the UK, and Germany. Plug-in hybrid subsidies are ending or have already ended. In the first half of this year, plug-in vehicle sales hit 4.3 million worldwide, according to global EV analysis leaders at EV Volumes. Surprisingly, the European EV market was only up 9%. So for those of you saying that companies like Volkswagen and Stellantis are massively ramping up their electric vehicle production, well, those numbers would say that isn't really true because that 9% can be pretty much attributed to companies like Tesla selling more EVs in that area than what they were previously. What about the US and Canadian market? Well, that's up an incredible 49%. What about the China market? Well, that's up even more at 113%. Now we need the IRA. Why do we need the IRA? Well, that's why 113%. That's called a monopoly, my friends. Nearly 70% of the world's electric cars are currently manufactured in China. China wants to increase that number, not decrease it. And if that were to increase, that's a lot of power. What do I mean by a lot of power? Well, if you're not already aware, and you probably are, the automotive industry is the biggest industry worldwide. It is literally worth hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars. Now, it is true that plug-in hybrid sales increased. Clean Technica says that's not as much as fully electric vehicle sales. Thus, the share of plug-in hybrids actually dropped from 29% in the first half of 2021 to 27% in the first half of 2022. And as I said, when you can buy an electric vehicle that's a good car, right, not a subpar vehicle like a you know, Mazda EV or a Toyota EV. But when you can buy a compelling electric car for the same price as a plug-in hybrid, nine out of 10 times, people will buy the EV. That's reflected by the Chinese automotive market. Now, yes, BYD sells a lot of plug-in hybrids, but they're the only company selling them pretty much in China. They have almost all the market share. Overall, this is how the five key drivetrains changed year over year in the first half of 2022. Battery electric cars are up 75%. Plug-in hybrids are up 37%. Mild hybrids are down 7%. Full hybrids are up 14%. And pure fossil fuel vehicles lost 16% market share. I've got to say, I get a little nice feeling when I hear those numbers. Gasoline powered vehicles are down 16%. Now they're down 16% on last year, which was obviously a COVID lockdown year. So what's the trend? The trend is gasoline vehicles are on the way out. That's why I'm saying don't buy a gasoline vehicle new. If you're going to buy one, if you have to buy one, get one well and truly used so your resale value doesn't drop through the floor. Overall though, global automotive sales were down 8%. Global light vehicle markets are contracting again EV volumes rights following a brief recovery in 2020 
for the first half and 2021 for the first half as well. 2022 first half sales were 8% lower than last year. In spite of that, EV sales have significantly increased. They also said EV sales held up well in this environment. While global light vehicle sales lost 8%, electric vehicles and plug-in hybrids increased by 62%, but EVs were up in even more at 75%. The relative weakness in Europe's EV growth relates to the EV boom in 2021 and the repercussions from the war in Ukraine. Now, there's some interesting countries which achieved incredible results. Norway is at 70% fully electric, 8% plug-in hybrid, but that's for the first half of the year. Over the second half of this year, that figure has substantially improved now to 80% electric. China hit 21% for the first half of the year. They're now at 28%. Europe hit 18%. They're now at closer to 20%. USA was at 6.5%. They're now at closer to 8%. However, interestingly, the country with the highest growth rate of electric vehicle adoption was India at plus 273%. Second to India was New Zealand at plus 260%. Now, the interesting thing about New Zealand is this is largely thanks to government policy because in New Zealand, buyers get an $8,000 subsidy for an EV and now you actually pay for how much you pollute. So cars that pollute more, you pay higher taxes for. Cars that pollute less, you pay less for. And I think that makes total logical math mathematical sense. And I think more countries should adopt a similar model. And when it comes to automotive gross increases in sales, the winners and losers are quite interesting. In terms of purely electric vehicles, of course, Tesla is in first place well and truly. But if you're going to include plug-in hybrids and EVs, well, BYD is the winner at plus 320%. Tesla's at plus 46%. Volkswagen Group is at, uh, hang on a minute, isn't everyone celebrating the fact that Volkswagen has ramped up their electric vehicle production? They're at 0% growth. That's what happens when you read the facts and not some sort of manufactured media story. Stick, you got, Guys, seriously, you have to watch this channel if you want the facts. Even the electric vehicle websites will tell you something different to that number, unfortunately. Volkswagen, 0% increase in growth. So there's the truth. General Motors, up 15%. Hyundai are up 86%, Stellantis are up 42%, BMW Group up 19%, the Renault Nissan Mitsubishi Alliance are up 11%, and Cherry Automobile is one of the biggest winners when it comes to vehicle sales because their growth of 220% is purely electric cars. Now, some of these figures are a bit misleading. For example, the Volkswagen Group, a very large percentage of their vehicle sales are plug-in hybrids. The same goes for Hyundai, the same goes for Stellantis, BMW. Actually, the problem for BMW is even, even worse because about 70% of their vehicle sales that are electric are plug-in hybrids. If you actually look at BMW's electric-only vehicle sales, they drop way down this list. Other car companies that did well were SAIC with growth of 24%, Geely Auto Group with growth of 334%, and GAC with growth of 136%. Dongfeng Motor also plus 254%, and Chang'an plus 100%. 15%. Most of the countries worldwide that increased their electric vehicle sales drastically in the first six months of this year were Chinese automobile companies. That said, the two biggest players that stand out well and truly head and shoulders above the rest when it comes to electric vehicle production, and just as importantly, actually making a profit from the sales of those EVs were Tesla and BYD. In the purely electric vehicle space, with sales up 46%, Tesla took 18% of the entire global electric vehicle market. And that was in spite of the fact that their factory in Shanghai was shut down for well over a month. And that produces more EVs than any other factory that they have. So you can see it's likely Tesla will hit around 20% of the entire automotive market for the second half of the year in 2022. And that's a pretty big percentage. The Tesla naysayers, they wouldn't like that fact. They'd probably say that's untrue and that, you know, it's it must be made up. It's fake data because Tesla has to be losing market share. It's going really badly for the company because, you know, Elon Musk, he's a bad guy. You know, you get what I'm saying. In my opinion, what matters are stats. As for BYD, their numbers are truly staggering. Their growth with EV ease is just not slowing down. I have no idea how they're doing it. It's amazing. And when it comes to the top 
10 best-selling EVs and plug-in hybrids in the world. The Model Y clearly leads by a wide margin. The Model 3 is second. Third place is the Wuling Hongwa Mini EV, which technically is a quadricycle, but hey, it looks like a car, it drives like a car, who cares? In fourth place is the BYD Song Pro and the Plus plug-in hybrid. In fifth is the BYD, which is a plug-in hybrid. Then you've got the BYD Han, electric vehicle in sixth followed by the volkswagen id4 in seventh place the lee one which is a plug-in hybrid was in eighth the byd dolphin which is a fully electric car and will be coming to lots of different global markets within the next six months at a probably a very affordable price i'm thinking around about twenty thousand us dollars for that car look out for that one came in ninth place in tenth place was the byd yen plus electric car. That's actually the BYD Addo 3 for you Aussies and Kiwis and all those other countries around the world. It's called the Addo 3 outside of China and that will be one of the most popular electric cars. We'll probably jump up into the top four vehicle sales next year in 2023. You know what? Just wait. 2023 is going to be an amazing year. I predict we're going to see around 15 million fully electric vehicle sales next year globally. We'll see nearly a doubling of the electric vehicle market, but we're going to see big ramp ups from companies like Ford and General Motors in the United States. And actually, we're going to see a huge increase in electric vehicle sales in the US over the next five years. Plus, we're going to see a massive increase in China. That's going to continue going really quickly. Why? There's so many Chinese consumers. They have access now to EVs at cost parity with gasoline powered cars. And because of that, most of them are saying, you know what, why would we choose a gas car? It's cheaper to own an EV, it's better to own an EV, and electric cars are most certainly the future. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and have a great day. Bye-bye.